back to the Berlin years. Uh, I mean, it was just amazing. You know, we were the, the team to be uh, to beat, uh, which uh, I like as a pos- you know as a player to be in that position. Um, and the chemistry. Well, I mean, we worked so hard uh, with Coach Pesic. I mean, it was every day, twice a day, two hours. You know, taped twice. I yeah. mean, and then, yeah. I mean, it was incredibly hard, but. Uh, we went through that um, with the with the 12 players, the 15 players. I don't know exactly. Also, some young German players, of course. And it creates uh, a uh, a connection. You know, if you go to to, to through pain together, <laughs> through uh, valleys together, and then of course uh, there need to be peaks as well and rewards. And we have plenty of those. That creates bonds, and um, I believe I can uh, I can call most of my uh, Alba Berlin uh, teammates from back then uh, still call them friends. So that's one. But to the crowds, you know, it, it depends a little bit of what culture you're in. You know, the yeah. German culture is the German culture, and it's actually very uh, very uh, similar to the Dutch culture. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, we had uh, Max Schmeling Halle back then. Uh, now, of course, they're in the Mercedes Benz Arena in uh, in uh, in Berlin. But it was uh, mostly sold out, um, and and great fans with Alba Berlin, great fans. And I'm not saying one is better than the other, but there were much smaller crowds when I was with Panionios or with Ike or with uh, mm-hmm. with Ares. Mm-hmm. But they were incredibly crazy, and I mean <laughs> crazy in a positive sense. Yeah, uh, um, you know, I, I remember games uh, with uh, with either three of the, uh, the teams that we played in Greece that I played with. <clears throat> where where you come an hour and a half before the game and there's a, an entire section and one quarter of the court already packed with fans singing, jumping, dancing. So you walk in the gym and they're already, already screaming, jumping. I mean, and singing these, these, uh, these, uh, these orchestrated synchronized war songs. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> so you walk in the gym and you have goosebumps already. Yeah. And then you, you go get taped and change and you come out to, to get your uh, pre warm up shots and they're still doing the same exact thing. Then the game starts and they do it throughout the game. Then you go take a shower and get dressed and they're still there. It's, I mean, it's amazing. I, I, you know, of course, I've been, I lived in the United States for seven years playing basketball. But for the, uh, the uh, average American fan or all American fans, unless you actually go to one of those games, in, in Greece or in Italy or, uh, you know, in Cantuna, it was the same. Or uh, maybe, uh, you know, famously in the, uh, in the uh, uh, arena in Bel- Belgrade. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the scenes there when they play. I mean, as an American basketball fan, if you have some money, fly over to Europe, buy a ticket, and, and you, you, it's, it's an amazing experience. It's definitely uh, highly recommended. Yeah, the home court advantage is literally a home court advantage. It's hard to lose yes. a game with that crowd, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 